So this is the famous Wellener Sonnenuhr, yeah? Exactly, the famous Wellener Sonnenuhr vineyard, very famous. You know, the name was given to the vineyard by the sundial which was built here. So only because it is um, so far north, what are the things in the vineyard that allow you to actually ripen grapes here in the first place? Well, it is basically the microclimate, you know? It's the valley, you know? Mm -hmm. Which is because the Mosul is only 110 meters above sea level, you know? So the valley protects the area pretty much, you know. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the three factors of a good microclimate in this area is basically the exposure, mm -hmm. the best are south, southwest, you know, exposure, inclination, the steepness of the soil. Yeah. Because as steeper the soil is, as more direct inclination of sunshine into the vineyard. That's very, very important, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, then basically, the exposure or the, the, uh, how the vineyard is situated to the Mosul, you can believe the, the middle part and the lower part is warmer than the upper part. As higher you come in elevation, as cooler the vineyards, you know, okay. as less good. Yeah. Therefore, you can say the lower and the middle part are the best because the steepest slopes are here in the middle part, you know. Yeah. The lower part is very close to the Mosul. You have the influence of the warmness reservoir of the, of, of the, of the, of the river, you know. And then here, the slate. The soil we have here, and you know, touch them, you know, half wow. a day of sunshine, how hot they, they are, you know, it's, it's it is a, it is really, it's a, it's a, basically it is a, it saves the heat of the day, you know, yeah. gives a warm and a very mild and warm climate to the surrounding um, vineyards and vines here. The slate itself has a very high content of potassium, you know, okay. so it is a natural source of potassium, you know very slow source because it weathers down in the vineyard and you know, we all know potassium is the most important fertilizer in agriculture it doesn't matter if it is wine growing or farming but you have a very very continuous source of potassium from the slate and that is often what the people say this minerality which you have with the Riesling here in the Mosul you know is coming from the high content of potassium we have here in the in, in, in the soil you know because you have a constant mineralization of the potassium out of the slate, you know? Okay. And that gives this kind of racy, minerally driven acidity in the Riesling of the Mosul, you know? Which you don't find so much in sand soils or what, you know? Would that explain the, the high extract? The, the high, yeah, the high extract, you know, and, you the, know... The ageability. Of the ageability, exactly. Yeah. The, this, this, this kind of minerally driven acidity of the Mosul, you know, and the high, yeah, sugar-free extract. It's enormous high sugar-free extract what we have here, you know. Gives this great uh, ability to age. It is not the alcohol. Our wines don't live from the alcohol. We don't need much alcohol to age our wines, you know. I had most beautiful wines with 10 alcohol, you know. I have been aging wonderfully, you know. The backbone of the Mosul Riesling is the acidity. Yeah. It's the acidity, 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 yeah. you know. And the hang time. And the hang time. Because with the northern growing area here, we have a long hang time. We, we saw hang times from 120 to 150 days here, you know? That's incredible. Oh, that's incredible. Without getting overripeness. That's yeah. the important thing, you know? Yeah. Hang time, you know, you can always extend hang time, but usually as longer you hang it, it comes always with overripeness, as yeah. we know from the new world in Australia. Or, so if you hang it too long, then you have easily 15, 16% alcohol. But we can hang it 120 days and still have only 10, 12 potential alcohol, you know? Fantastic. And that is, that is the secret.